This brings us to letter number three. Dear Dave, this man must be stopped. <laughs> His plan is to take over the world and make us all look and dress like he does. We've tried to stop this evil, but have failed. You are our last hope. Please save us. Ken Cole, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, frankly, some of this mail is just stupid. Here we are, slandering a perfectly nice man just for the sake of what? A stupid joke. We don't even know who this man is, and all of a sudden, we're making a joke out of him. Paul, do you know who this guy is? Have you ever seen this man before? Any idea? <laughs> You, uh, you, were, you were doing a little character, weren't you? Mr. Rowland, that's just one of the many nutty characters <laughs> that I do. Mr. That's a character named Mr. Rowland Pastel. Well, it was very nice. Nicely done, Thank Paul. You, you. you gave that part a little extra something that I didn't anticipate. <laughs> you didn't know I did characters. No, I knew did you, you did characters. Do a little of uh, your wimpy guy. What's his name? Oh, the wimpy guy. Yeah, do just a second of your wimpy guy. Well, yes. I'd be, okay, I'd there be you go. To, dude. <laughs> that's the wimpy guy. I do that's the wimpy guy. We've got characters. So tell me, where is that good-for-nothing son of ours? Oh, Zetron! Zetron Jr. Hiya, Pop. What is that noise you're listening to? Oh, that's just some oldie station. Hang on. Well, so tell me, how was school today? Well, in genetics class, I, I crossed a golden retriever with a kangaroo. When you throw a boomerang at it, it brings it back. But a boomerang would come back anyway. Ah. Well, I guess that's why I flunked. Why you? <laughs> Honey, our next-door neighbor, David Letterman, is coming up the walk. Oh, that moocher. As if I didn't have enough trouble already. All he does is borrow things. Boy, does he have it soft. Sounds like our sex life. <laughs> Hi, Zetron. Hi, uh, Dave. <laughs> I can't stay long. Rocky 19's on TV tonight. <laughs> Dave, what are you doing in that ridiculous outfit? Well, this, I always wear this when I'm doing yard work. By the way, Zetron, that uh, lawnmower I borrowed from you died again. Boy, that, uh, that thing just can't cut it. Sounds like somebody I know. Right. <laughs> About that lawnmower. Yeah. Maybe it needs some more plutonium. Oh, great. Can I borrow ten bucks? <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. I thought you had a summer job. Yeah, I did. I had a summer job, but it was on Venus. So? Well, the summer's there only two hours long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Hey, Pop. Hey, I need money, too, Pop. What do you need money for? Well, I'm taking... I'm taking... <clears throat> I'm taking Zena to the Man George concert. So long! <laughs> Why does he talk like this? It's just a, a dramatic choice that I made for this particular character. Yeah. <laughs> what were the other choices? <laughs> An orthodontist. Yeah. We, have, uh, we have an update. Oh, you know what I wanted to ask you about? Paul has been with us from the very beginning. Uh, we went on the air almost four years ago. Three years, eight months, whatever yeah. it is. He's done some wonderful characters. Paul, let's run down the characters. You've done... You've done uh, I've done Roland a lot of Pastel. character work. Roland Pastel. Let's hear Roland. Well, that was uh, Roland Pastel is a character who... Uh, do him. Just do he's him. He's an interesting you guy. You don't need to explain him. Just do him. <laughs> do a little Roland Pastel. He's a Pastel. little like Arthur Brown. Remember the guy who sang Fire? I am the god of hellfire! 
That's, that's Roland uh, Pastel. Now you, he's a lot you like myself, actually. Yeah. Right. Now, and you also do uh, the little outer space boy. What's his name? Z Zebart. What's that guy's name? Zebron. Z actually. No, that's yeah. not Zebron. It's no uh, Zebron is Doc Severinsen. That's Fiji right. What is the character? Yeah. Your little outer space boy. Uh, uh, zeb uh, Zebrio. Well, let's hear him. He says, "I am the god of hellfire." <laughs> Okay, and now, and now, <laughs> there's one, there's one other guy. It's your little wimpy character named Wimpy. Now let's. The wimp. The wimpy, wimp. The wimp. Yeah. yeah. He says, "Hi, how are you? Nice to see you." He's a lot like myself, actually. <laughs> but he, uh, that's some of the characters that I do. I have a lot more where they, where those came from too. You have more characters? Yeah, I'll be breaking them out too. If we oh, we haven't seen them. No, but so here's a guy we've seen. Ah. This guy, this guy is red hot, ladies and gentlemen. You know who this is? This is Doug Schwander. Now wait a minute. Uh, Doug, of course, stole the Miss America pageant show by singing. Uh, what did he sing? He, uh, the heat is the on. The heat is on with the Amer Miss America dancers. This is Doug Schwander, and we we found we're beginning to find out a little bit more about this mystery man. Uh, Hal, can we show the, uh, the Doug Schwander fact that we learned uh, earlier today? Here it comes. Okay, one fact about Doug Schwander. Here's another photo while you're looking. <laughs> okay, facts about Doug Schwander. Today's fact, hobbies include golfing and spelunking. Excuse me, uh... <laughs> yeah. Spelunking? Yeah. What is that Spelunking, that's caving. He gets in, crawls into caves and so he forth. Go, he goes into... Goes into but caves. But not any cave, I understand. Well, yeah, I guess he would go into any cave. Wild caves. Wasn't that what we learned yeah, about? Yeah, wild caves. I don't like know, tame caves, yeah, domestic caves, yeah. whatever. You know, if I had that guy's hair, my career would have been totally different. <laughs> really? I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't see uh, Doug being our musical director. Not that he isn't a fine talent, but I think on the hair alone, he wouldn't have gotten the job. Well, so you see, you got to be thankful for Yeah, you would rather have this guy's hair? Uh, I didn't say that. If I had had his hair, <laughs> it might have been me doing the heat is on with the Miss America. You know, you can't go anywhere these days without running into uh, somebody's top ten list. Here's a, a copy of the current October uh, McCall's. Do you have this, Paul? You get it at home, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I picked that one up. Yeah. Over here. And uh, <clears throat> see what I mean? America's ten sexiest men over 60. And then it, then it gives you the guys who, who's on the list. For example, uh, John H uh, Houston is on the list, Lee Iacocca, uh, Norman Mailer, so on and so forth, Cary Grant, Frank Sinatra. That's a top ten list. <clears throat> Here, Paul, the new edition of uh, uh, Good Housekeeping, September, with uh, Meryl Streep. Or, well, no, it's not Meryl Streep, it's Diane Sawyer. <laughs> I don't know. They, don't they look a little alike, Meryl and Diane? Which one is that again, now? This is um, Diane Sawyer. It's Diane Sawyer, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Diane Sawyer. Okay, now there's a top ten list in here. Uh, most admired men poll. And they want you to uh, uh, pick your most admired men for their top ten list. And it's a, a little poll there. So because these things are, are so, so popular and such solid network television programming material, we've decided tonight... Now comes the joke. We've decided tonight... <laughs> see, all of that is the setup. Here comes the joke. We're going to start our own top ten list. And tonight... I think we got a pretty good one. Tonight <clears throat> will be uh, Late Night's Top Ten Words That Almost Rhyme With Peas. Okay. Number ten, we have heats. Number nine is rice. Number eight is moss. Number seven, we have ties. Well, we, you, Wait, it's a little late. What, what happened? We were going to score this whole thing for you. This was you, a little drum roll. Yeah. Where now I lost my place. Where were we? Oh, number seven is ties. Number <laughs> number six is needs. Number five is lens. <laughs> number four is ice. Number three is kind of a surprise, nurse. <laughs> number two, we're getting very close now, is leaks. And the number one word that almost rhymes with peas, according to our poll, is meats. <laughs> we'll have those from time to time, with or without the music. We don't know yet, but yeah, yeah. maybe without. Mm -hmm. No, I like the music. 
You didn't like the music? No, I did. We, we were a little late. You don't like playing along, do you? No, no, no. I love it. We were just, you don't like playing just along? Just a little embarrassed because we, we jumped in a little late there. It's not that you don't like playing along. I love to play any game you want to play. All right. What would you like to play? Well, no, it's time to get on with the big telecast. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, oh, last night we started this. We have time. We're going to finish up. These are actual calls, ladies and gentlemen, from actual callers. Hal, uh, play the tape these people uh, heard when they phoned in for 50 cents and talked to us while we were on vacation the last week of August. This is Hi, what, this is Paul, this is Paul Schaefer. Schaefer. Dave isn't here right now. He's hitchhiking to the Wisconsin Dells. But please leave your name, your phone number, including area code, right. and a short message or question. He'll try to get back to you after vacation. That's Paul right over there. Okay, and remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is nothing like viewer mail. Here we go. Our first call, actual caller. Any minute now. Be a good time to order that pizza. Okay, um, oh, here he comes. Paul Garcia. Paul Garcia. Norman, Oklahoma, University of Oklahoma. My question is, Dave, is New York City really as big as, it, as people say it is? Thank you. Thank you for calling, Paul, but I'm not going to write your thesis for you. <laughs> Number two. There's the tone. Leave the message. Here it hey, comes. This is Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Um, how have you been doing? I've Good. Been doing, speaking of Chris Elliott, I think we should have him more on the show. Chris Elliott. That's all I have to say, Dave. Bye. Okay. Well, thanks for calling, Jeff. Uh, young man likes Chris Elliott. How about that? It's very nice, isn't it, Chris? Kids love me, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Chris Elliott answering, answering the question, is there a dress code for the staff? No. <laughs> okay. All right, call number, call number three. Here we go. Hello, my name is Henry Smith. Henry Smith. I cast my vote for Viewer's Choice Award, Don Henley, The Boy of the Summer. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right, Hal, that's one vote for Don Henley's The Boys of Summer. So we tally like that. Okay. <clears throat> Call number four. Dave, my name is Patty Labbitt. Patty Labbitt, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My message is... <clears throat> what is that, girl? A cave-in down at the old mine? Gramps has been pinned under a beam? All right, we'll get right to him. Andy Robert? Dave, I watch your show every morning. Mm -hmm. My every morning. age is nine years old. Nine? My favorite guest you have on is Sandra Bernhardt. Your band is great. I like your show. Okay. Bye. Thank you, Andy. Let me get this straight. You watch the program every morning. You're nine years old. Your favorite guest is Sandra Bernhardt. Andy, you're going to have many problems in life. <laughs> But military service won't be one of them. <laughs> you know what this stuff is, by the way? <laughs> this is the stuff. Now, I don't know if our current Miss America used it. But Miss America contestants use this stuff. They spray it right there, right there on their, uh, right there on their hometown. <laughs> and um, it's to keep their bathing suits from riding up. Honestly, it's called uh, firm grip. And uh, we have plenty of it up in the office, too. <laughs> did did uh, the current Miss America use this? Yeah. And, and what did she say her talent was? <laughs> oh. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. We've, we're, hey, hold it. No, no. We're right in the middle of a comedy piece here. Okay, do we have time to finish this up? Oh, thank God. Here we go. One more call. Yeah, Dave, this is Dave in Milltown, Ohio. Dave from Milltown, uh, my Ohio. My question is, I want to know, does Larry Bud Melman date, or is he just a person that you know, lives by himself? Thanks a lot, Dave. <laughs> Just what the hell are you getting at, pal? All right, this is our last call. Our last call. Boy, that stuff smells great. It smells a little like Mississippi. I have a great message to David Zetteron. I hope he gets on Jackass and he sells it off. Oh, yeah. It'd be so funny like David Letterman. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, David Hoffman uh, from A. What a coincidence.
coincidence. That's Larry Bud's roommate. <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. All right, Paul, do we have music there? We could have used a little there, couldn't we? <laughs> All right, in Miss America, 1986, uh, Susan Aiken will be out here in just a few minutes. Uh, Fran Leibowitz is also here, and uh, Bob Sarlett, a very funny young man. So we have a wonderful program, ladies and gentlemen. But now a word from one of our fine sponsors. <laughs> Back to the program, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is a good one, Paul. We're eager to meet this uh, young woman. You know, I think we've had every Miss America on this show ever since we've been on the air. So it's a tradition, isn't it? Yes, it And is. one we certainly enjoy. Last Saturday night, my first guest was crowned Miss America 1986. Please welcome, from the great state of Mississippi, Miss America, Susan Aiken. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I think they made an excellent choice. You look terrific. Thank you. Is this the most exciting thing in your life? Yes, it is. Yeah. It has been the most exciting thing since I was a child. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, every, every year we've, we've had the Miss America winner on our show. Now, it, this is not the first show you've done, though, is it? No, no. What was not. the first show you did? The Today Show. The Today Show. Now, I want to change that. I want, I want this to be the first show. Okay, this is the first show. Can you, can you talk to somebody about that? Okay, I'll try to change But that. don't you think that would be nice that this is the, the show to be on if mm -hmm. you're Miss America? Definitely. You don't care, do you? <laughs> uh, now, this is silly. Uh, this is in all of the papers. Uh, this is uh, anti-slip spray. And, and is it true what, that the people uh, spray this so their uh, bathing suits don't creep up? Every contestant in the Miss America pageant used this. Is that right? It's, I mean, it comes from all over the country, not just from Mississippi. We spray this, yes, right back there to keep our swimsuit in place. But, but uh, <laughs> is it is it uh, pageant rules? No, it's Somebody not. Somebody come around and check? No. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, we... Um, had a lot of steps to go up, a lot of steps to go down, and when you're walking a lot, your swimsuit can very easily ride up, and what's more embarrassing than to turn around your swimsuit is risen up back there. Now, is that embarrassing? Would that be the worst thing that could happen? I think it would be, yes. Um, people have used this for years. Is that right? Yes. Well, this is the How did they finally find out about it now? I don't know. Someone asked me about it, so I said, yes, I did use it. No kidding. So they've uncovered a secret, but it's an old, old trick that's been around, and you just spray it on. Yeah. Now, what will happen here? Okay, wait, let it dry a minute. Let it dry. And then I can pick things now up. Now, don't you it? stick it to your face when you get. When you <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, boy. What did you say? No, let it dry. Let, him in, let it dry. You Thought spray it. I had died and gone to there. heaven. Okay, now, and now it'll, it'll stick to anything? No, wait a minute. It's not dry yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, while we're la letting that dry, tell me about uh, Doug Schwander. I think he's. I think he's wonderful. Did you meet him at the pageant? Yes, I did. He's a very wonderful guy. He's a singer and a dancer, kind of a multi-purpose uh, talent. Yes, I think he was very good. Yeah. And, and what did he do besides sing? Did he get to know the girls? Yes, he was there at practices with. <laughs> he was there at practices when we were practicing. He got to know us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, and the saran wrap? I figured you'd ask me about this. Since no, you brought asked, that out yourself. Since everyone's asked me about the firm grip, everyone kids me because I use saran wrap around my legs at Miss Mississippi. Oh, brother, this is, this is actually You're like... Wait a minute now. Yeah, it's very sticky, isn't it? Can I put it right up here? Well, no, then I'll, I'll, I'll look like a jerk the rest of them. That'll be... <laughs> That's the purpose. That's the sure it is. <laughs> Wow. The, the, the mind is boggled by the possibilities of this stuff. Um, and how, uh, just how exactly would somebody go about getting this stuff off? You wash it off. It washes right it off. Washes it's it off water soluble. Water. Yes. Yeah. You can wash it off with soap and water. Is it a little uncomfortable during the pageant? 
No, no. Yeah, and it's only worn during the swimsuit competition. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, enough of that silliness. Now explain the... Uh... I figured you'd ask me about this because your producer asked me about it when I was talking to him on the phone. Um, this I used around my legs at the Miss Mississippi pageant. So did the girl that ended up being my first alternate. We had a good, a good time during the Miss Mississippi pageant. It was in the Atlantic City Magazine while we were there. A picture of me holding saran wrap like this. So I figured you'd ask me about it. And, and what do you so do with gonna, it? You wrap it around your legs? You wrap it around your legs. Supposedly you lose water out of your legs. But it's, it, it's a way to lose some weight quickly. <laughs> Supposedly. I don't think it really worked on me. Yeah. Well, you don't, you don't look like the, the sort of person that would need to lose weight slowly or quickly. Hopefully not. Yeah. You know there's a very old joke about that sort of thing. <laughs> you, know the, you know what the joke no, is? No, what is it? Well, it's a, uh, a man and wife have been married for a long time, and the, the fun has gone out of their marriage. So the woman writes to one of these advice columns, and she says, how can I do something to romantically spark my husband and put the old zip back in our life? And the response comes back, for a trick some night just before he comes home from work, take off all your clothes, wrap yourself up in saran wrap, and meet him at the front door. So she says, well, this is pretty peculiar, but it beats spraying stuff on my butt. So, uh, so she does that, as silly as it seems. She takes off all her clothes and wraps herself completely in saran wrap. The husband comes up, opens the door. She's standing right there, and he says, oh, no, leftovers again. Thank you. We'll be right back with Miss America. I have to get this off of you. This is uh, Miss America 1986 from Mississippi. What city in Mississippi? Meridian. Meridian. I've been to Meridian, Meridian Mississippi. Mississippi. Is it near yes. Tupelo? Not too far from Tupelo, isn't it? Uh, two, th two and a half hours. You ever been to uh, Gulfport and Biloxi? Yes. Yeah, those are really yes. interesting little places, aren't they? Uh, let, let me ask you a question about things you can't do, because I know uh, uh, earlier we, we wanted you to do something silly at the top of the show, and you said, geez, I really feel uncomfortable doing it, and we certainly respect that. But there are things that Miss America shouldn't do, and there are actual rules now that you can't kind of things you can't do. Well, the thing that y'all wanted me to do was act wild and... Uh... No, I admit it was, it was really, it was a silly, dopey little thing and it was... No, a... it's... I have... I'm Miss America and I have to portray the image of being Miss America. Mm -hmm. And there are certain things that I can and can't do. I yeah. can't run around the streets and act crazy yeah. where I should uphold the respect of being Miss America. Does, does that uh, loom as a, a really large burden to you? Do you feel a lot of pressure for no, that now? No, not at all. Yeah. I enjoy it. Uh, the past couple of days have been nothing but talk shows here, talk shows there, interviews, pictures, uh, photo sessions, things like that. I enjoy that. Yeah. And what do you want to do when you're finished with your year? I, want, I would like to go into entertaining, uh, modeling or singing, acting, something like that. Call Doug Schwander. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. So you would like to be a, uh, a, a, an actress, perhaps, or not so much that? Yes, yeah. um, whether it be acting or modeling or singing, using yeah. my singing talent. What, what did you sing on the uh, pageant? You're My World. Yeah. And uh, now, you know, the other night Miss Alabama was here. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you meet her? Yes, I was in going to an, somewhere else, and I saw her in the studios, and she surprised me. I was surprised to see her, but, yeah. and she said that she was coming in here. Yeah, she seemed like a very nice woman. Now, did you, did, do uh, people get along at this thing? Are there, uh, is there tension backstage? There's the normal tension and pressure back there because everybody back there wants to be Miss America mm -hmm. and um, everyone wants to win so bad, but we all get to be like friends. It's like one big family. Yeah. Nobody fighting over the spray can. No, or, no, yeah. no. Uh, As a matter of fact, I had to borrow you mine. You had to borrow yours. I didn't even bring mine. Do, do you have, uh, what do you do for fun? Uh, you're not going to have much free time now in the next year, but what, uh, what would be something you would like to do for relaxation? Hobbies. You run. I saw a picture of you jogging. How, how far do you run? <laughs> About two or three miles. Yeah. Every day? I try to do some form of exercise yeah. every day. That's pretty good. What else do you do? Uh, on, on the road, I'm not going to have much time for exercise, um, not much time for fun, but I call this fun. Traveling's going to yeah. be very fun. Oh, it's going to really get tiring, though, isn't it? Do you have any days off during the, the year? Um, not anytime soon. Yeah. I know that uh, my homecoming, which is in the middle of October, 
I will have maybe a day or two off. Your homecoming where you go back to? Back to Meridian, yeah, Mississippi. See your family and friends. Now, uh, how much time do we have here? You know, do you want to do this? you want to go downstairs and say hello to the folks in New York? Be fine with me. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take uh, Miss America 1986. She's going along willingly. Uh, down to 6th Avenue here in Midtown Manhattan and introduce her to the... Is that a bad area? <laughs> it's a very nice area. No, it's a... You know, the, these Is that are, They're very nice Is people. Will we do a station identification here? <laughs> and then we'll be down there when we get back. Okay, we have to pause here for station identification. <laughs> What's that? Oh no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Here. Very pleasant. It is. Very pleasant. Yes, it's uh, wonderful. Now, this is uh, one of the busiest sections of the city, and uh, and and also one of the uh, you'll find the people here are some of the nicest you're going to run into in New York City. Right up the street there is uh, Central Park, all the way up there, and then all the way back down there is uh, if you could see it, there would be the uh, Statue of Liberty, but it's uh, it's closed and so forth right now for repairs. You want to you want to meet some folks? Yes. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Hi. What is your name? Brad Cairns. Brad, where are you from? I'm visiting here from Lewis and Clark College. I'm on a trip here. Uh, what do you New York City? Art and theater. Uh, and yeah. do you know who this is? This is Miss America. That's right. This is Susan Aiken, Hi. Miss America, Pleased 1986. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Is this a thrill for you? This is great. <laughs> do you have a great. question you'd like to ask Mr. Um, how would you like to go out sometime? Oh, Just yeah. Kidding. <laughs> yeah. You got a better shot at the lottery. Hold out your hand. <laughs> Hold out your hand. Open, turn it over. Huh? Thank you very much. Hey, nice meeting you. Oh, I'm just, excuse me. Hi, come here. Hi, what is your name? Ivan Freeman. Ivan, nice to see you. Do you know who this is? It's Miss America. Miss America 1986. Congratulations. She's from, she's from Mississippi. Oh, that's wonderful. I got a, can I ask a question? Sure, what, what is your question? How, how can I get uh, into the contest? <laughs> get a picture, Ivan. Beat it. Hit the He's pushing his luck. But they're friendly, aren't they? They're by and large pretty they're nice. They're very nice. Let's see very nice. Can, uh, Hi, how are you? What is your name? Andrea, nice to see you. Where are you from? I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. So you're in town oh, visiting? On cool. um, business. So she's from uh, Mississippi. Oh, okay, great. Now, Miss Tennessee didn't win. I'm sorry. But there are no oh, hard No, feelings. no, no. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Do <laughs> you have a question for Miss America? No, I, I really don't. Did you ever want to be Miss America? Well, I do remember prancing around with a crown on, you know, well, I made up doesn't? one, but <laughs> last uh, year, no. Uh, do you, uh, are you a little nervous being in the presence of Miss America? Well, I'm sorry. No, no. no. Yeah, I think but very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. She will represent Lovely. us nicely. Oh, I think so. Nice meeting so. you. Thank you very have much. Have a good visit to New York City. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Come on nice in here. Nice Yes, sir. What is your name? Joe Anger. Joe, nice to see you. Where are you from? New York City. New York City? What do you do for a living? I uh, work in the luggage store. Oh, yeah? I'd like you to meet Susan Aiken. This is Miss America, 1986. I saw you Saturday night. Oh, did you? Yes, I rooted for you, too. Oh, you were rooting for her? Yeah. Uh, have you ever met a Miss America before? Never. Do you have a question for Miss America? Uh, well, Vanessa Williams. No, 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 Joe. No, no. <laughs> That's two years ago. That's a year ago. She's, yeah. she's over. We don't know. This okay. is uh, 1986. I'm sorry. I'm Hang sorry. around. We'll have dinner, though. Okay. Okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, pick somebody else out. Anybody here you see that you... Sir, come right here. Come here. What is your name, sir? My name is Joel. Joel, nice to meet you. How are you? What do you do for a living, Joel? I'm a page here at NBC. Oh, is that right? That's right. <laughs> you must be starving. Um, th this is Miss America. How are you? Hi. Nice meeting, meeting you. Hi. And where are you from originally? I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. Jersey City. Now, initially. last year's Miss America was from New Jersey. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. What, what was her name? See, now this is stupid. We Suzette forget. Charles. Yes, yeah, Suzette, Suzette Charles. Charles. That's right. Yeah. right. Took over after... Um, Vanessa. Vanessa Williams. Yeah. Yeah, because she left. Okay. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Somebody upstairs, one of the pages, was asking me, who picks your wardrobe for you? I do. You do? I do. Great. I get to pick out everything that I wear. Great. One of the pages <laughs> wanted to know this? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, nice meeting you, Joel. Thank you. Have, have a good time here at All NBC. right. Yeah. Certainly. Uh, I'll speak to somebody upstairs. Okay. You're almost finished. <laughs> uh, do we have time for one more? Anybody else you want to meet here? Anybody else? Oh, hi. How are you? How nice are you? to see you. Nice to see you. What is your name? I'm Aaron. Gilbert. Hi, Aaron Susan. Gilbert? That's correct. Susan Aiken. Susan, I think you're gorgeous. Miss America. I know she is. Have you I, ever met a Miss America? I've never met one before. I've seen a lot on television, but I think they made the wisest choice that anybody <laughs> could pick. You. You know, do you know what she did with this stuff? No, I don't. Well, I'll tell you a bit later. Okay. <laughs> no kidding. Really? I'm surprised. 
course, he's kidding me. I don't believe a word he said. Tell him it's true. I don't believe a word he said. Listen, well, pleasure meeting you. Uh, good luck for the coming year, and uh, you're a terrific young lady. Thank you for being here, but, but next year you come here first. Okay, okay? I will. Right, thank you very much, Susan. And thank you, Gilbert. Thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you, uh, We'll be right back, folks. Lots of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.